Ni hao, superhumans. I'm back from my trip to China, which was fantastic. I got lots of good video footage, including a tour through IT Studio, which is where the Sonoff is made. I have video footage of the actual production line making Sonoffs, and I'm going to show that to you in the next episode. But because I was rushing to get to the airport when I put out the last episode, I didn't have time to do the Patreon supporter giveaway. So I've done that now that I'm back, and the winner for that last episode was Philippe VDB. Philippe is going to get a prize pack with the parts for some light switches. And speaking of the light switches, I'm just right now in the process of putting them up on the Superhouse online store. But when I went to do it, it turned out to be a little bit more complicated than I thought. My initial idea was, it'll be really easy, I'll just put up some light switches, but there are a few complications. Firstly, different countries have different wall plate standards. So I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just put up a kit of parts that allow you to make your own. So what you can do is source your own wall plate, whatever suits your particular country. I'll provide the, um, the breakouts and the buttons, then you can mount them and it'll all be fine. But then another complication is the color of the buttons. I use blue buttons generally, but you can also get these in other colors. And in fact, I've bought some white buttons just to see how they turn out, and they look pretty cool. So some people might want to buy like a two button panel with blue, some two button with white. You might want a combination. For example, you might want a switch near your front door that has mostly blue, but then one of them could be red, which might be, you know, arm the alarm system. So what I'm going to do is put the breakout boards and I've got the two button, three button and four button breakout boards with the RJ45 socket and the little current limiting resistors on them, tiny little surface mount parts to make the button just glow, not be you know, super bright. And they will be up on the Superhouse online store. I'm also going to list the buttons. So either blue or white and you can pick whichever color you want. So I figure what you can do is you order the breakout, and if you've got a three button breakout, then order three of the buttons in whichever color you want, and then use the instructions on the site to assemble it. You can fit it through a wall plate that will match your country, and it'll all be good. And um, I might also, for Australian customers, put up fully complete wall plates like this. So everything will be fitted, the breakout board, basically just plug it in and it will work but uh, that might be a little bit limited. And also keep in mind that this is really just me working from my workshop at home. This is not a big factory operation. So trying to maintain 73 different product lines is complicated. So what I'm going to do is have a page that you can go to, which will be superhouse.tv slash light switch. And that'll be a starting off point. So from there, what I'll do is link to things like the breakouts, the buttons, and later, if I do complete panels with everything ready to go, I'll link to those and I'll put a guide in there to how to assemble them yourself. So that's the starting point. Go to superhouse.tv slash light switch. And um, hope from there, I'll link to all the different bits. Hopefully, everything that you need to be able to make your own light switches, including for different wall plate styles like US style, European style, whatever you need. So I'm going to get to assembling and put those things on the website. And um, the next episode will be up quite soon, which will be a tour of IT, and you'll get to see where the Sonoff is born. Now, go and build something awesome.